This is Into Math, second grade, module 14, lesson four. We are going to start on page 350, and we are going to use drawings and equations to represent two-digit subtraction. The I can statement is I can use bar models and equations to represent and solve two-digit subtraction word problems. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 350. We will start under build understanding. Maya has 36 buttons. Fred has 20 fewer buttons than Maya. How many buttons does Fred have? Let's take a look at part A. Complete the bar model to represent the problem. Use a square for the unknown number. So here we have the total of buttons that Maya has, which is 36. And we know that Fred has 20 fewer buttons than Maya. So we are going to write 20 here because he has 20 fewer or 20 less. And our unknown is the amount of buttons that Fred has. Let's take a look at part B. Model the problem with a subtraction equation use a square for the unknown number. So we are looking for the unknown number. We don't know how many buttons Fred has, but what we do know is that Maya has 36 and he has 20 less. So we're going to subtract 20 from Maya or take away 20 from Maya's. If we take 20 away from here, we're going to have what Fred has left, which is our unknown number. Let's look at part C. How can you subtract to find the answer? I can explain my thinking by stating that Fred has 20 fewer buttons than Maya. I subtract those 20 buttons from Maya's 36 buttons to find the number of buttons Fred has. You may want to pause to write down your thinking. Part D asks us to rewrite your equation and solve the problem. So I am going to start with the amount of buttons that Maya has, 36, and I'm going to take away 20. When I take 36, take away 20, I find six take away zero in the ones column is still six and three tens take away two tens is one ten. So my answer is 16. So I can answer our question, how many buttons does Fred have? Fred has 16 buttons. Nice work. Let's take a look at the next page, page 351. While cleaning up, Ben puts away 31 blocks. Ben puts away 11 fewer blocks than Ronnie. How many blocks does Ronnie put away? Let's take a look at part A. Complete the bar model to represent the problem. Use a square for the unknown number. So we know that Ben puts away 31 blocks and Ben puts away 11 fewer than Ronnie, so we're going to write the 11 here because that is the amount less that Ronnie puts away than Ronnie. So what we don't know is the amount that Ronnie has put away. So we're going to make a square here to represent what Ronnie has put away. Let's take a look at part B. Write a subtraction equation to model the problem. Then model the problem with an addition equation. In each equation, use a square for the unknown number. So the first step is to write the subtraction equation. So we are going to take our unknown number of the total amount of blocks that Ronnie has. We're going to start with that number. And then we're going to take away the 11 so we're going to write a subtraction and the 11, and we know that when we take away 11 from the unknown number, we are going to be left with 31, which is the amount of blocks that Ben puts away. So we will write 31 here. 
Now we need to model our addition equation. So we are going to write that when we take our 31 and our 11, we are going to get our unknown number. So we will write 31 plus 11 makes our unknown number. Now the um, part C asks us to rewrite your subtraction equation and solve the problem. So when I look above here, I notice that I can use this addition problem to solve um, for the unknown. So I'm going to do that first. I'm going to take 31 and add it to 11. I start with my ones column, one plus one makes two, and then my tens column, three plus one makes four. So the unknown number is 42. Now I can rewrite the subtraction problem, which is here, unknown minus 11 equals 31, and I can write 42, which is my unknown number, take away 11 equals 31. So I have now solved how many blocks does Ronnie put away? Ronnie puts away 42 blocks. Excellent job. Please turn the page and to 352, we will go ahead and look at Step It Out, part one. Corey opens a box of 37 crayons. 15 crayons fall on the ground. How many crayons are still in the box? Let's look at part A. Complete the bar model with a square for the unknown number. Here we have the total amount of crayons, which was 37. We know that 15 fall out to the ground, and we don't know um, how many crayons are still in the box. So we will draw a square for the unknown, which is the amount of crayons, crayons still in the box. Let's take a look at part B. Model the problem with a subtraction equation. Use a square for the unknown number. Here we know that the total is 37, so we will write 37 here. We are going to take away 15 because that's how many crayons fell out. So we will take away 15. And when we take away 15, we will find our unknown number of crayons still left in the box. Now we can do part C, subtract to find the unknown number in this box. I am going to go ahead and write this problem vertically up and down. You may want to pause to do this part on your own. I'm writing 37, take away 15. So if you want to pause, you can do so and come back to check your answer. When we take seven, take away five, we will get the answer of two. And then we will look at the tens, three tens, take away one ten, and that makes two tens. So we have found that 37 take away 15 will give us 22. We have solved this problem. How many crayons are still in the box? There are 22 crayons. Excellent job. Now let's check for understanding. Complete the bar model. Write a subtraction equation with a square for the unknown number. Write and solve your equation. Tom has 27 flowers. 13 of the flowers are white. The rest are yellow. How many flowers are yellow? Okay, if you would like to pause and try this part on your own, you may do so or follow along with me. We know that there are 27 flowers. So that is our total amount of flowers. We know that 13 of the flowers are white. So we will write 13 in one of the sections of the bar model. We know that the rest are yellow. So this is the rest that are yellow, but we don't have the number. So we will write an unknown square. Now we can create the equations. 
we have 27. And when we take away 13, we get rid of 13, we will be left with our unknown number. So we will write 27 take away 13 equals our unknown. When we solve this equation, we can write that vertically over here. 27 take away 13. We'll start with the ones column. Seven take away three gives us four. And tens column, two take away one gives us one group of 10. So we can rewrite our problem. 27 take away 13 equals 14. And we have solved this equation. There are 14 yellow flowers. Excellent job. If you would like to go back and watch this video, you may do so, and you can pause along the way anytime that you need to.